In this series of videos, we'll make a scavenger hunt app in Thunkable. So let's see how the final app will actually work. So here on the right, you can see my phone. I'll click the uh, start hunting button. And then I actually get a list of the different items that I'm going to find on the scavenger hunt. Um, so I'm going to tap where it says computer. And then that brings up the camera. And then I'll take a picture of my computer. Select use photo. And then I can see the photo that I just selected uh, inside of uh, the app as a picture here. Beneath it, I see a description of the image. So it says an open laptop computer sitting on top of a desk. And uh, since there was a computer inside of the image, uh, then uh, the uh, computer one becomes green and selected. And now I can go off and find the other items in the list uh, and turn them green also. So let's actually get started building this app. So when you first uh, log in to Thunkable, uh, you'll see a page that looks more or less like this. Uh, so uh, to get started, we'll drag an image component on the screen. Uh, this will allow us to be able to see the image that we get from our camera. Uh, we'll also include a button uh, so that we can actually trigger uh, the camera to actually turn on, just for right now. We're able to hit this live test on device button and that'll make it so that uh, when we uh, uh, we can click this live test on device button, uh, which will make it so that uh, we can actually see what's happening on our phone as we're building uh, the app. So. If I uh, move the button a little bit to the right uh, to kind of be in the center, then uh, we'll see a few seconds later that the button itself moved on the, on the phone. Um, if you don't have a device with you, uh, you can actually hit web preview to be able to test out your app as we go. So let's go to the blocks. Uh, and for this, I'm gonna say when the button is clicked. Uh, so I'll go to the buttons drawer, get the when button clicked block, I'm going to set the image, image one's picture, uh, to be the what we get from the camera. So I'll go to the camera drawer and get the photo from camera block. So now when I click the button, uh, it will uh, get a picture from the camera and that picture will become the image that we see on the screen. So let's test this out. I'm going to hit the button take a picture of my screen, choose use photo, and then I can see the image on the screen. Great. So now let's add a, a label so that we have a description of what's going on inside the image. So I'll go back to the design and I will drag out a label. Um, I'll move the label around a little bit just so it has a bit more room and make it a bit bigger. And then uh, and you'll see that uh, the phone has updated uh, as I've been doing that. Now we'll go to the blocks. And I'll say that uh, we also want to now set the labels text to be a description of the image. So I'll go back to the camera drawer and get the description of image uh, block. But instead of getting it from the camera, I want to get it from the image. Uh, instead of taking another picture, I want to get it from uh, the image that we already took. So I'm going to go to image one and get image one's picture. So now when the button's clicked, uh, we'll take the photo as before and become the image. But then we'll take that image, get the description of it, and put it inside of the label. So let's test this out. I'm going to hit the button on my phone and then I'm going to take a picture of my computer, click use photo. We see the photo that I took and uh, we see a description. It says a screenshot of an open laptop computer sitting on top of a desk, which is pretty close to what we have. 